So what I used for pumping. I highly recommend a double electric breast pump. I have two. I had one that I got for when I was pregnant with Grayson and then I got another one for this pregnancy. So the one I got when I was pregnant with Grayson is the Medela double electric breast pump and I got the backpack style. This is an upgrade with my insurance, but it's a backpack. Um, so you can put like all of your like parts in here. I have breast milk bags, I have wipes, I have bottle wipes. Um, you could put like a burp cloth in here just to wipe your parts down and whatever you need to put in here to bring with you. And then in this part is the breast pump. Here. So here's the, the breast pump and here's the uh, wall plug for it. This worked great because I was able to just sling this over my shoulder and then go pump at work and it just looks like a, back, a normal backpack. Nobody would know that it's a breast pump. The one thing I don't like about that is that the actual pump does not come out of the backpack. So I couldn't just take the pump if I ever just wanted to take something small. I had to take the whole backpack, which kind of got annoying. So this time around, I got the same pump, the Medela Double Electric Breast Pump, but I got just the pump. So no extra bag or whatever. It is just the pump. And I have just one tubing, because um, I do one side at a time. I don't do both at home. And I just keep this by um, my couch, and this is what I use to pump at home. I'm gonna be leaving one of the pumps at work and keeping one of the pumps here at home. So that way I don't have to lug anything back and forth. But if I had to do it all over again, I would just get my hair. I would just get the pump by itself and not the bag. Um, what I use for breast milk storage are the Lansino breast milk storage bags. I just, the Medela ones are nice, but I feel like when I'm trying to empty the milk into um, a bottle after it's thawed, these are easier to pour out. And um, you can store more than six ounces in this bag. This bag is huge. And then it gives you a spot to write like the the date and how many ounces and whatever other information you need to write on there. But I just, I like these. The bottles I use, I just get the Medela um, bottles. These are the five ounce bottles and the newborn zero to four month slow flow nipples. And I have two packs of these. So I have six of these. And then I also have, I think eight ounce bottles um, but these ones are good for when she's smaller and, um, and yeah, like she probably won't go through more than five ounces at, at one feeding. After I started pumping, I found that like one side produces about three to, f three to five ounces. Um, and then, you know, she's pretty much done after like a good feeding on one side. So she, I don't think she'll go through more than five ounces here's the actual like bottle for when I'm pumping. I currently am only pumping one side at a time so I can just hold it to myself but when I'm at work I'll be doing both sides at the same time and I do recommend you get like a nursing or um, a pump bra for hands-free pumping. I just got the Medela style I do recommend getting a darker color because you're gonna spill breast milk on it. And I had the white one um, with Grayson and it's stained yellow. So I do recommend I got the black one this time around. And basically you just, it's easy. It zippers up in the front, you just wrap it around and then you um, fit this.
you fit this in there the little flange like basically is is held up by the hands-free pumping bra i could be like working on my computer and uh pumping away so really convenient i recommend i recommend getting a pump bra i also have for pumping a handheld manual pump i put it in this little uh little cooler this actually came with this this you can easily put this in here um this was like the little thermos to put um pumped breast milk and like an ice pack in so this is the medela hand pump and it's a little bit different setup than the um electric pump but it's just this um it's just this middle part here that the um the hand pump attaches to so then it has a the fast pumping action and then the let down like being action i guess you could call it Adela says that it has both actions to mimic to best mimic like what your baby does when i go to work and i'm pumping I don't want to have to wash these parts every time I pump. So what I do is I bring all of my pump parts and, you know, um, milk storage bags in a little lunchbox type little insulated container like this. And after I'm done pumping, I disassemble some of the parts. Mainly I'll just take off this part, right? And then I'll just put you know, I'll dump the milk into a breast milk storage bag and then I'll put it back like this. And then I'll just put all of these parts into the insulated little lunch box thing, just like this. I don't unassemble, I don't take any of this out, I don't wash anything. I just put them back in the insulated um, lunch box and then I put everything, lunch box and all, pumped breast milk in their storage bags, this, and I just put the whole thing in the refrigerator. You can do that. So it saves you from having to wash everything every time you pump and then reassemble everything. It's such a time saver. Then when I get home from work, that's when I disassemble everything and wash it and disinfect everything. Um, and then I'll put my breast milk storage bags into the freezer. But yeah, just putting everything in the refrigerator while at work will keep everything because breast milk can be stored in the refrigerator up to what does it say five days so even when i'm home and like super lazy and like right now when i'm trying to pump i have one of these fully assembled just hanging out in my refrigerator um and i'll just grab it and pump dump the breast milk in the bag, put this whole thing back so that it's super easy. And then like after two, three days, that's when I'll like clean everything. So that's what I do when I go to work. That's what I plan on doing this time around. It's what I did for when um, I was pumping with Grayson. The other thing too that I have constantly around me is just hand sanitizer. So anytime that I'm about to breastfeed Emerson or about to pump or something, I want to make sure that my hands are clean. One thing that I haven't talked about yet is making sure that the baby's getting enough. So like how do I know that Emerson is getting enough? Well, in the beginning, your hospital, when you're still in the hospital after you deliver, like they have a log of like how many wet diapers, how many dirty diapers does your child have? They should have like a certain amount in the first like 24 hours and then so on and so forth. So you wanna make sure that your baby is like wetting their diaper and that means that they're like well hydrated. And then you wanna make sure that they're having enough bowel movements. Um, so there's like a, a set like standard that your hospital has that they need to see before they'll release you to make sure that your baby's getting enough. After that obviously is like, is Emerson gaining weight? So like her first doctor's appointment was two days after she was born. With breastfed babies, they say that they tend to lose weight because your milk is still coming in and they're getting colostrum but you know they tend to lose uh, a little bit of weight. 
so Emerson's first doctor's appointment, she had lost four ounces, but she was wetting her diapers. She was having bowel movements, so I knew that she was getting enough. After that, at her two week appointment, she had gained weight. She had gained over a pound. So I knew that she was definitely getting enough to eat. At our two month appointment, she had gained even more weight. She had gained three pounds. You want to make sure that your baby is gaining weight and having wet diapers and um, bowel movements, like so many in a, in a day. And that's how you can make sure. I know some people that have bought like baby scales. I think they sell them at like Toys R Us or Bye Bye Baby, you know, any of those baby places. They have like actual baby scales that you can weigh your baby. So you can weigh your baby at home and to make sure that they're gaining weight. I don't have a baby scale. I can also tell like the quality of her feeds by the the color of her poop like breastfed babies there's like this whole like color chart of like what your baby's poop n means like you know their diet like what what it means so she tends to have like yellow seedy poop and that means she's getting good feed she's getting the fatty hind milk and she's you know eating long for long enough she's eating for long enough that she's actually getting that um she's emptying my breasts i can feel it after she feeds they're no longer like hard or i don't feel engorged they're pretty soft and empty basically so like i said um besides this hands-free pump bra you know some moms like to have like nursing covers this is one of the itsy ritzy it's a car seat cover. It's also like a breastfeeding cover. Um, with Grayson, I did cover up in public when I breastfed. I either had like an Aiden and a nice swaddle blanket or I had like a nursing cover like this or, you know, something else that covered me. I found though that he would get so hot in it and it was just uncomfortable to have to like maneuver him, maneuver my nipple, make sure that like I'm all covered up and it was just like, it was like acrobatics. And I was uncomfortable, he was hot and uncomfortable in there. So this time around, I feel a little bit more comfortable and confident enough to go out and breastfeed in public and not have to cover up. I've done it several times now when I go on mall walks with my friends. If Emerson's hungry, I sit down on a bench in the middle of the mall and I will breastfeed. Now I try to be discreet about it. I don't like, you know, whip out the girls, but I don't have the whole rigmarole of like having a cover and that's just my personal preference. I just find it easier and she's more comfortable without a cover. If you are wanting a cover, like having something very lightweight and airy and something that you can easily maneuver around you um, would be ideal. And on top of that, having easy access to the breast like in terms of clothing and your nursing bra and stuff that's also like so key so i wear like these loose flowy shirts i always have a nursing bra on i needed some extra support because i'm just larger chested so i have a nursing sports bra so it's like very wide strap it's very comfortable it provides a lot of support it's a little bit tighter but it's a nursing bra so i do recommend like nursing friendly tops that you can easily pull down or pull to the side or um that have like lift lift flaps so that way like your stomach is still covered and you can easily like breastfeed so nursing friendly tops definitely um i recommend so daily family, that is it for my breastfeeding video and what is working for me, um, my opinions, recommendations, what have you. So I really hope that you found this helpful. I am a huge advocate of um, breastfeeding. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that's very important to me. And yeah, if I could help someone out there, then 
this video, this, this is what this video is for. If I could help anybody out there with questions or issues or concerns or anything like that. If I missed anything that you want me to talk about, like in terms of what is working for me, and my breastfeeding journey, you can leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it in a timely manner. But yeah, I hope that you all have a fantastic day and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye Daily Fam. The things we do for thumbnails, right?